Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I want to show you an awesome, very fluffy scarf. So you see here, I did the puff stitch this time and I'm going to show you how you can do that. It's actually way simpler than it looks. I'm using a 9mm hook for today and yeah, let's get started. So for today's scarf, I have this awesome wool and you see the amazing colors that we have here. I'm really excited to try it out. So I'll show you here the details we have here, 9.8 ounces or 280 grams and it's 297 yards or 271 meters. It's called Karen Chunky Cakes from Yarnspirations and you see here it's no wool um, yarn today, which means it's vegan. And this is for an eight millimeter crocheting hook. And I have my nine millimeter one. I think that's gonna fit nicely. And yeah, it's 100% acrylic. And here you have other details in case you might need those. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to use this. Um, you see here all of the details one more time, the awesome colors, and yeah, we can get started right away. So as always, I'm gonna pull the middle out. That way our ball stays in one piece while we work on the scarf. It's just a lot neater and easier to work with. And this one actually works really well. So I'm not having issues finding the middle. Let me just find the very beginning of the thread. Okay, so I found the beginning thread here and now we can get started. So I'll move this out of the way a little bit. Okay, so here we are. Let's start with a slip knot as always, and then we're going to do an odd number of chains. Nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. There we go. That's going to be the width of my scarf. You can of course do more or less. Just make sure it's an odd number. Then we're adding three more for the height. So actually this is going to be 16 chains total. Okay, now we're going to skip these three for the height. So we're leaving these out and into the fourth one we're going to go in. We're going to pull it a little bit longer than what we usually do like this. And then we're going to take a yarn over and repeat that. And one more time, so three times total with the yarn over which means that you should have seven loops on your hook. And then close it up, do a chain on top, and that's our first puff. Then we're gonna skip this one chain on the bottom and we're gonna repeat the same process into the next one. So yarn over and then through and two more times like that and close off plus a chain on top. Okay, and then we go one more time. I'll go with you, but you already know what to do. There we go, three done, and I'm gonna keep going this way till the end. So same thing, you already know what to do, but I'll keep doing it with you so that you can follow my lead. Okay, this is what it looks like. So now I have two chains left over. One we're gonna skip and the next one we're gonna do again in the puff or with the puff. There we go. So that's it. And you see how awesome it already looks. It really has a nice thickness and it's gonna be super fluffy in the end. So yeah, let's start with the second one, second row. So we're chaining three for the height again. And then we're gonna turn the other way around. So our first row. And when we turn that, we're gonna repeat the same thing around the chains that we did. So actually between the puffs that we already have on the bottom. And we're again doing the same thing. Seven loops on the hook, always a yarn over, close, chain, and continue.
And there we go. We already have four done in the second row. So let's finish this up. So the last one goes around the chains that we did in the last row for the height. Unless you do that, you're actually going to lose a puff. So you do want to go around those chains as well. That's going to be the last one and that way you keep the width throughout the entire piece. There we go. That's it. And we have two rows done. This is what it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total. So yeah. Um, that's exactly what we want and you see how awesome it looks. It's really fluffy and okay. So now I'm going to keep going the exact same way and I'm going to be back in a bit with an update. Okay, so here you see all of the colors that we have and I think it looks awesome. I'm still not completely done, so I do have quite a bit to go. But as you can see, this project is a very fast one, so you get results really quickly. And yeah, I just wanted to show you kind of a mid-project update. And I'm gonna continue with all of these colors till I have them all, and then I'm gonna show you what the entire scarf looks like. So yeah, I hope you like it so far, but stay tuned for the entire thing. So yeah, as far as the colors go, we have here the pinkish as well as some darker ones, um, a darker purple here inside. It's actually the exact same one as the one we already have on the scarf. So yeah, I'll be back in a bit. So in the meantime, I'm left with just this little tiny bit um, and that's actually perfect. I finished the entire row and I had just a little bit left. So I'm going to pull this through and then tighten it a little bit. And yeah, then I just have to weave that in as well as the beginning thread that we have in purple here. And that's it. So I have here 180 centimeters of length, which is great. It's a really great length for a scarf. And I just wanted to show you how thick this really is. Um, so yeah, it looks really awesome from the side and with all of the colors today in pink, a little bit of beige and purple. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to shoot a thumbs up if you did. You can also subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button and that way you'll always stay updated with all of our other projects. So yeah, thanks for watching DIY Ideas. I hope you guys had fun with us and see you next time. Bye!